guys, this is Rosita here, your go-to vocal and language coach here on TakeLessons.com. Welcome to our third episode on beginning Japanese for business professionals. So we talked about how to introduce ourselves in business situations, how to repeat um, like their name or their number, and now we're going to learn how to introduce clients and colleagues to other business officials in Japan. All right, so first we're going to start off with some vocabulary. All right, so let's start off with sewa, which means care. Sewa. Sewa. Then we have the phrase sewa ni naru. Sewa ni na which means to rely on, to be taken care of. Then we have kacho, which is manager. Kacho u, kacho, manager. Then we have itsumo, which means always, usually. Itsumo, itsumo. Itsumo. Then we have kochira. Kochira, which means this is, here is, it's, um, it's a demonstrative noun, but we're going to touch a little bit more on that later on in this episode. The president. Sacho. 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 Senmu. Senmu. Senmu which is in an English equivalent to Executive Managing Director. Then we have Jomu. 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 Which is a Managing Director. Then we have Bucho. 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 Which is a General Manager. Then we have Jicho. Ji Cho U, which is an assistant general manager. Then we have Ka Cho, Ka Cho U, Ka Cho, which is a regional or a section manager. Kakari Cho, Ka Ka Ri Cho U, Kakari Cho, which is an assistant manager. Chief Shunin. Shu ni n shu nin, which means chief. So let's talk about some phrase vocabulary and phrase usage here. So kochira means this or this person, this way, but it's more of a polite way. In um, formal and or business occasions, you can use this demonstrative to introduce someone to someone else. Now this demonstrative can also be used to mean this place, this way, or this one, um, politely. So for an example, when you were greeting a Japanese official and you want to tell them please come this way, you want to say kochira e dozo. Kochira e dozo. And make sure we bow. Please bow. Now, I'm going to teach you an important phrase here. Itsumo osewa ni natte orimasu. Thank you for your support to our business always. Sewa means care or favor. Now, the phrase sewa ni naru can be translated as um, to be taken care of or to rely on. Then o is, an, is added at the beginning of this phrase to make it seem more polite. Now, osewa ni naru is used in the present progressive tense, um, as in osewa ni natte orimasu, which is the polite and formal way of saying it. And you want to say this because the business relationship is going on. So you have a current standing, you have a current relationship with this particular business. Now, the verb orimasu is a formal way of saying the verb imasu which means to be or a animate object. 
that exists. You can also say o s e w a ni natte imas, which is fine, okay?、Um, but if it's a business thing, I highly recommend to go more with the formal. So o s e w a ni natte o r i m a s And to really emphasize like, your gratitude,、um, since it's a current relationship that you guys are having, add i t s u m o to it. So you'll say, i t s u m o o s e w a ni n a t e o r i m a s Thank you for your support to our business always, is what you're literally, transla-、uh, which, what you're literally saying. Now, this phrase is also commonly used in the formal greetings or self introductions in business settings. So when you meet someone for the first time, You and you don't have any transaction with that person personally. You can use this expression if you and your company has a current relationship. You can say, You can say, Your name, to moshimas, o s e w a ni n a t e o r i m a s But if your company does not have a current relationship, With that business, then just say, Yoroshiku onegai shimas. Yoroshiku onegai shimas. Yoroshiku onegai shimas. Now, the phrase o s e w a ni naru、um, is used in greetings in various situations and it really depends on the context. But we're going to touch on that a little bit later on in the episode.、Um, In future episodes. Here's our main focus the grammar part. So, the focus of this part is introducing your boss to a client. This is my manager, Mr. Tanaka. When you introduce your boss to your client, please do not add an honorific suffix such as sama or san or a business title to his name. However, when you introduce your client to your boss, then you should add sama after his or her family name following their company's name. So, for an example, Kochira ga Tegresen no Hernandez Maria des. Alright, that's a quick shout out to Maria who is a Fabulous person that works at、um, Take Lessons. Or if I'm going to introduce the president of Take Lessons, Kochira ga Sacho no Kokshi sama des. This is President Cox, which Stephen Cox is the president of Take Lessons. Now, when you introduce your, your boss to your client, You are not supposed to put any polite name. I'm going to repeat this again. Please do not put any polite name suffix or the title after the name of your colleagues or bosses. Here's an example. Another example. Kochira ga Sacho no Kokshi desu. This is our president, Mr. Cox. We cannot say Kochira ga Kokshi Sacho desu. That will be wrong. Now, the formation you hear would be Kochira ga, the title name, possessive particle no, the family name, and this. When you're introducing your client to your boss, you might want to tell the client's company's name as well. For this, you say the company's name first, then add a possessive marketing particle no, no, and say their family name with. The honorific suffix. This is when you're introducing your client to your boss. Okay?、Uh, so, for an example, if I'm introducing you to the president of Take Lessons, I will say, Kochira ga Take Lessons no Kokshi sama desu. But we're not going to add the title. But that's only when, when I want to use an honorific suffix to the name. Another example Kochira ga Arson Studios no Kiyo Hara sama desu. Here's a little language tip when I'm talking about formal de,、um, demonstratives, such as Kochira. When you have multiple clients, you need to replace Kochira in the, into the appropriate ones, right? So when the client is close to you, we're going to use Kochira. 
meaning this person. If, if there's a person that is close to a person that you're talking to, so slightly further away from you, will be sochira, meaning that person. Now, if that person is not close to either of us at all, like way over there, will be achira. If the person is trying to introduce you and you don't know who it is, still, there's like multiple people over there, you'll say dochira. Which one? It can also mean which person, who, which way. So this is good for people and also for directions. In a business situation, all right, when you refer to your colleagues in your conversation with someone from another company, please do not use the suffixes san or kun, all right? The people who you work with at your company are considered people in your group. So you want to show them respect if they're not present. So you're going to say their name, their family name, and their given name. You should omit the name suffix when you refer to people in your group and conversation if they're not there. Okay? All right, guys. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. If any questions, leave your comments. Uh, leave them in the comment section below. If you're watching this on TakeLessons.com, go ahead, click Ask a Question, and all messages do go directly to me. All right, guys. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to talk to you soon. Deva mata!